Alrighty, so quick question. Laramie or Limited? I can never figure out which one is the best buy. Now obviously the cheaper one is always the best buy, but if you don't know this, you can get a lot of options on this Laramie that comes standard on the Limited, and therefore you can make your Laramie pretty darn expensive. So special shout out to Larry H. Miller here in Sandy, Utah. They did allow me to do this video. This truck's available, that truck sold. But I want to show you guys the difference because it's very rare to see a limited for stock. So I wanted to get this video out the way because I really wanted to show you guys the differences because there's some differences now that you need to know about. Let's get into it. So in the past, I could tell you, it doesn't matter what engine you want because you can get the Cummins standard output and high output Cummins in either truck. It does come standard with a gas engine, which is a 6.4 liter Hemi. The problem now is, you can no longer get a Hemi in the Limited. You heard that right. That truck is no longer available with a gas engine. And I kind of like that because of the price point of this truck. Now it does come standard with the standard output Cummins. And if you don't know, that has 370 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque, 68 RF transmission. That is a good thing because when you're spending this kind of money, a lot of people are gonna want that engine. And in the past, when I saw a limited trim level with a gas engine, that truck never sold. It just sat on the lot. And one time I saw one almost for like a year and a half before it finally sold. But with that being said, if you want to get the gas engine, you have to go with the Laramie now. So that is an advantage for some people because some people don't really want the diesel because of the emissions crap and they don't use the potential that the diesel gives you. So this is right up most people's alley, is being able to get that 6.4 liter Hemi. And one other advantage that this truck has with the gas engine is you can get an eight speed transmission standard behind this 6.4 liter Hemi and you have the option to get lower gearing out back. With a diesel, you cannot do that with a single rear wheel trucks. If you get a dually, you can. Now, the transmission behind the Hemi is reliable. It's a ZF transmission. I know that Lexus has used that transmission for a while, and from what I've been told, there's not a lot of problems with that setup. So I think that for the engine department, the Laramie takes the win if you want that gas setup. Now let's talk about front end design. So obviously, if you want to get the night edition, it's available for both trims. Now something that Ram did, and it really kind of shocked me, was they took away LED headlights to be standard equipment. Now, I believe if you get the night edition, you do have to get these headlights. I believe that they still bump you up to them, but you have to get that Laramie level one package. I don't know, maybe it's something called something else. They change the package names all the time, but you would have to get these as an option. So you have to know that if you're ordering your truck. Now on this side of the house, you have a lot better design grill personally and you get projector style headlights that are not available on this side. Now these do swivel, they're full LED, including the turn signal. This one has incandescent bulbs down below here, but they both have reflective style LED fog lights, parking sensors, tow hooks, they're all pretty much the same for that. And they both also have the sport performance hood when you get the night edition. And I really do think it really dresses up the front end of these trucks. Now something that they changed on the Laramie side for 2023 was they took away your fender flares and it basically looks like a bighorn truck now. That's just my opinion, but I would definitely go with a limited now because I would like to have those fender flares. I think it looks so much nicer with them. To each his own, some people don't like them, but they really do dress up this truck. Now you do have a different wheel design. You have more of a gloss look here for the limited versus a matted look. I do like the styling of these better because it does match the emblems a lot better personally and yeah ram this cheaped out on the limited just gave you the same emblems as you would get on a bighorn or even a laramie now as far as your running boards go running boards do come available on this truck obviously now these power deployable ones are an option however if you're looking at a laramie you can no longer get the power deployable running board in the past you were able to do that Something I would have liked to have seen from Ram, at least for the limited, was for them to add a painted uh, trim piece right here for the mirrors because I think it looks kind of cheap in all this, you know, hard plastic versus them having like maybe like this kind of painted look for it, maybe. 
I don't know. That's just something small, but I think that they should have maybe done something different here for the $110,000 truck. Smart key systems on both sides. That's it's pretty much standard there. And although these trucks have different beds, they both have the option to get ramp boxes or not. They're both available with the Mega Cab. Now, both of these trucks do have air suspension. So that's something else that you can get and it's available. So most of the things that you see on these trucks do come available or are standard. Now out back with the night edition, of course they're gonna black out your emblems and they do black out the tail lights a little bit right there. And the same thing goes on this side. Looks really good. They both have the deployable bed step there. And something I want to show you guys on the Limited that this Laramie does not have. They do provide these cameras for the rear view mirror, but on this truck, it does not have it. So it's probably available because they both do have the option to have the camera for that rear view mirror. If you didn't watch my last video, this does have a, a 12 pin connector for a video. And then this is for that rear view mirror as well. Those things are available for the Laramie. And let's go ahead and check out the interior because this is obviously a big deal. So as far as the door car goes, there is definitely some differences there. They do provide like a suede insert here. Nice design and you do have soft touch up top. Door handle, your seat memories. And here's your controls for your mirrors. That suede does follow on the seats as well. Looks great. They do embroider Laramie right there. Leather wrap steering wheel. And you just have a seven inch screen for your gauge cluster with your analog gauges. Power pedals. And overall, I mean this dash is finished like in a vinyl material, but they do stitch it for you. This one has a 12 inch display. And push button start. And then check this out here. So on this side, you have your cup holders and storage that's exposed. And then this is your center console. Now here's the limited. Right out of the gate, you have a nicer leather trim on this door card. Everything looks upscale. You have that black chrome door handle, seat memories. And then here's your controls, which doesn't really change. But everything's just wrapped a little bit nicer in leather. You have the nicer speaker grills. That show that to you on the side here. Let me just make sure I show that to you. This is on the Laramie, and it looks good too. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. But on this side of the house, that has a nice appearance. Harman Kardon, and even if you get the Harman Kardon for the Laramie, it does not look as nice. By the way, that does have the Harman Kardon. And the seats, these are real leather seats. So, nice appearance. You don't have the suede inserts. And this has real wood trim on the doors right there. And Ram gave you the digital gauge cluster. So I like this a lot better than I did when I first started playing with it. But for the most part, I think that the interior is just done well. Like you just have that leather wrap dash, looks so much nicer. You have the rear view camera and check this out. You have these covers for your cup holders and then for your storage. It's finished in Velcro for back here. And then check out your center also. And this looks great too, don't get me wrong. But like even like right here, you just have more hard plastics right there. The dash is still soft touch, but it just doesn't have that nice luxury look that the Limited has. And I mean, even around the 12 inch display is everything that looks a little bit more downscale compared to the limited and here's what i'm talking about this is all finished in leather and you have this nice cover finishing that wood trim that dash is right there i mean it just looks a lot nicer in comparison like even around this center stack here you just have a nicer appearance and all this is going to be pretty much the same for both trucks here and the same thing goes out back. You still have the same trim pieces that you saw out front. Real leather seats out back too. The speaker grills are just a little bit nicer. Heated seats on the outboard. 
power plugs, four USBs. It's just really done well. And then on this side of the house, for the Laramie, you have the suede inserts there. I mean, even for the door card. Still has a great appearance, don't get me wrong. I hope I'm not coming off as if I'm saying this isn't nice, because this is still a nice, nice interior. But I think the limit is just a little bit better, personally. You still have those heated outboard seats, and you get the four USBs, power plugs, same thing. So in my opinion, it just really depends on the pricing for some people. And as far as this truck goes, base price for this configuration, Mega Cab, Laramie Night Edition, Although the night edition is not going to be included in here, but this is for a Laramie with Mega Cabs, 68,470 versus 79,885. That's not including destination for neither truck. And something I want to mention, I don't know why they do this for the Limited, but that price does not include the engine. But for the Laramie, it does. So that price is probably closer to like 87,000, with the standard output Cummins. Now let's go ahead and check out the payload capacity. Now both of these trucks are going to have the same axle ratings, same gross fuel weight rating. So the only thing that's going to be different is this number here. So for the Laramie, 3,943 pounds versus 3,592 pounds. So no surprise, you're going to lose payload when you go higher in trim levels. But one of the biggest issues with this truck is the Ram boxes. That steals about 110 pounds of capacity from you. Now obviously if you get the fifth wheel prep package, that's gonna lower you on payload a little bit, but for the most part, the Ram boxes are pretty darn heavy. But what do you guys think? Which truck makes more sense for you in the comment section? I do like the Limited better because I like the wheel design, I like the front end better, I like the projector style headlights. But the Laramie does have a lot of the same features available and most people don't care about real leather seats and stuff like that so for some people this interior is more than fine i think it's still better than some of the higher trim levels from the competitors in some cases but yeah special shout out to larry h miller here in sandy utah they do have this truck available be sure to check these guys out they have a great team here and they're very easy to work with and let me know what you guys would pick in the comment section see you guys soon one last small detail for the interior is they do wrap the grab handles in this leather as well as the shifter. Although I did notice that for the rear, they took off this for the limited. That's kind of funny. And for the Laramie, it's just finished in hard plastic.